welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so so that we can bring you the latest news as they come and together we can support our leader Mazen and the Kano, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream and restoration a reality. He say the Global Human Rights Organization, Amnesty International, has slammed Buhari, Fulani, Nigerian government, and the compromised Nigerian security agencies for failing to investigate the alleged killing in Biafra land by Ibubago, the criminal Southeast Regional Security Outfit created by Fulani Meyetiala terrorist group and the Supreme Court Administrator of Imo State, Hopeless Uzo Danger, in conjunction with the Bonhi Governor, Dave Umehi, because they wanted to place the Fulani Janjaweed. According to Amnesty International, it stated this in reaction to the gruesome killing of 14 Biafran youth returning to Otolu, their community, from a wedding in Awomama on Sunday by gunmen suspected to be criminal Ebobago security outfit and a criminal Nigerian DSS. Hopeless who's a danger of Imo State, while briefing journalists, said that the killing were carried out by the Nigerian secret police, criminal DSS, and not Ebobago. But reacting to the gruesome killing, Amnesty International, in a statement signed by its spokesperson, Issa Sanusi, on Tuesday, faulted the Fulani Nigerian government for attributing the killings to members of IPOB rather than carrying out proper investigations. Amnesty International added that it has documented several cases of extrajudicial execution by the law enforcement officers and members of a Bubago security outfit while responding to violence in Southeast Biafra land. The director of Amnesty International Nigeria, Osai Ojigo, was quoted as saying, it is horrifying that unarmed young men who clearly pose no threat to anyone were gone down in utter disdain for the right to life. Such killings cannot be justified under any circumstances whatsoever. The Fulani Nigerian government must end these unlawful killings. Fulani Nigerian government must promptly and thoroughly and transparently investigate the killings and bring to justice in fair trial anyone suspected of criminal responsibilities. In the first place, it was the Fulani Nigerian government that sent their boys. Instead of them to launch proper investigation into these killings, the Fulani controlled Nigerian security agencies and the Fulani Nigerian government are often quick to claim victims of extra judicial execution were caught up in shootout or simply labeling them as members of Eastern Security Network. My brothers and my sisters, this killing has to stop. It has to stop. You know, the criminal DSS in response to the Emo State killings lied that exchange of fierce gunfire between a joint security team and IPOB and Eastern Security Network resulted in the death of 14 Biafran youth who were harmless in Imo State. Harmless youth. Innocent Biafran youth. In order to cover up their crime, Uzo Danger has 
said that operatives of the secret police, the criminal DSS, stormed a camp and killed the gunmen, whose other danger had also vowed to sustain the killings of Biafran youths, noting that no amount of blackmail would stop him from killing them until they allowed the Fulani Janjaweed have their ways in Biafra land and allow him to be given another term, that is second term, to cause more atrocities and steal the treasury of Imo State dry. You know, however, in damage control efforts, the criminal Nigerian DSS, in a statement made available to journalists in Owerri, Imo State Capital, insisted that the victims killed on Sunday were members of Eastern Security Network and not guests coming from a wedding ceremony. Imagine that. The same criminal DSS that could not stop the Fulani terrorist bandits' invasion and takeover of Kujay prison, they couldn't stop it. They are the same that went after innocent Biafrans. They went after them, killing them. You know, Imo State Ebubago commander, Ugu Mozambique, goes into hiding for fear of being captured by Biafrans. At all costs, to pay for the gruesome killings of innocent Biafran youth, and several other atrocious killings, the Fulani Nigerian government had used him to commit in and around Imo State. You know, the masterminder of the killings of 14 wedding guests on Sunday in Imo State, who is also the commander of Imo State's Southeast Ebubago security outfit, popularly called Ogu Mozambique, had gone into hiding as Biafran group declares him wanted. Even the criminal DSS Director General Fulani Janjawi Yusuf Binchi had to run to Chad, his home country, as Interpol closes up on him because of the ex extrajudicial execution of Biafran youth by the criminal Nigerian DSS, led by him. There shall be no peace for the wicked. They will all pay for their sins. Ugu Mozambique was on revenge killing, using his Ebubago outfit as he alleged, vowed to bury his brother, killed by unknown gunmen about three weeks ago, with the heads of 100 youths from the area in our mama. You know, the report attached a picture he took with hopeless Us or danger, alleging that he was a local drug peddler before he quitted and joined the state government, which appointed him the commander of Obibago in Oru, West and East. My brothers and my sisters, you can see how the Fulani Janjaweed are using these ground two elements. They are using Biafran traitors to carry out the killings with the help of the criminal DSS. And hopeless who's a danger who also is party to the killing wants to exonerate his boys. The criminal Ibubago is using to fight and kill his opponents, kill Biafrans. Because of his greed and desperation for second term in office. That's why he's killing. But his end has come. He will never see the second term. There shall be no second tenor for him. Because Biafra must be free. No matter what hopeless or danger and his co-travelers, 
does in Biafra land. They cannot stop Biafran restoration for independence. They cannot stop it. They will try, but they will fail. The same thing played out in the Bible. When the children of Israel wanted to leave the land of Egypt, Pharaoh refused. But the strong hand of Chuko Kikabiyama took the children of Israel out of Egypt. After 430 years of slavery, Biafran restoration time has come and there is no going back. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.